Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about MIUI 10.3 on our Zook Z2 Plus and I am going to make a full review about it, what are the cons, performance, bugs and other things related to this room. So now talking about the UI design on MIUI 10.3. So now the users who are actually using Android, Android stock ROM for some time are going to get some fresh feel and because of the different user interface uh, the users are going to feel something else. As you can see the wallpapers, widgets and setting icons are available below and you can actually change them and uh, customize using these icons. So now you click on this uh, any icon from the desktop menu. As you can see there is no other uh, menu or layout available. So all the icons are actually on the home screen itself. Now, so now as you can see, you can actually customize them on the home screen. Now you can just you just need to drag them up, and as you can see, it's so easy. It is the animations are kind of fun to see how they actually drag around, and uh, uh, it is one of the most custom customizable ROMs uh, right now available for Zubz2 Plus. So now talk about some other features about the UI design is the transition effects. So there are some effects which you could go through: slide, crossfade, tumble, page. Cascade, Rotate, Cube. So now talk about Rotate. So now you click on it and as you can see there is a preview of the transition event you are going to use. You, you. Now go for the Cascade. Now talk about something like Crossfade. As you can see there is a preview of the effect you are going to use before. Now Slide which is normally the default one. So now talk about some other features. Right here are to click on More. So now you can actually lock your home screen layout. So you won't be able to change the settings on that. You won't be able to customize it. You can allow the theme to override the screen layout. You can also change the row and column settings 4 into 5, 4 into 6, 5 into 5, and 5 into 6. So you can actually uh, show that how much memory status is memory is available uh, in the recent menu. Okay. So you can change it uh, from this settings menu. So now this way some some of the home screen UI designs available. Now when you uh, check out the notification panel, it is the same. There is this slider for changing the brightness and these are the icons which are available in the notification bar. So as I said before, this is one of the best Android ROMs which you could use right now on your ZipZip Plus. This table, it is great. So I won't recommend it to play PUBG on it, PUBG on it, but other than that, I think so it is one of the best ROMs you could use right now and the battery life is great again. So I am going to talk about it in detail in, the, in this video. So stay tuned. So now talking about the navigation panel, as you can see, the notification bar, as you can say. So these are the icons which are available and you can actually change them, reset them and uh, change the icons placement. Now click on more, as you can see, then the extra icons are available. More mobile data, wireless, DND, do not disturb mode, as you can say, mute, vibrate, Bluetooth, auto brightness. This kind of uh, icons and features available. You can also add screenshot, reading mode, synchronization, buttons, battery saver, and other layout features. Now, what you need to do is you need to click on it. You need to press it for a moment, and as you can see, you just need to drag it up or down to add it in the menu notification notification panel, or just drag it out to remove it from the notification panel. And click on done, and as you can see, it is normal. Now, talking about some other features. Now, when you swipe left, uh, swipe right side the notifications are going to uh, just get, you can just get rid of them but when you left, swipe left what happens is you can actually mute them using this button or you can actually set uh, settings uh, you will get to the more settings options now as you can see you can actually change the show settings at the top of the list icon badge floating icons lock screen notifications so you can actually change some of the settings available for the application itself and the notif notifications related to it so these are one of the good features which are available in the MIUI uh, notification panel and so as I said before, it is one of the great custom rooms where I, which I could say you can use. So you know, there are some other features which I am going, going to talk about but uh, just talk about the connectivity, there is no connectivity issues, I am using Geo VoLTE and the calling feature is fine, Bluetooth, Hotspot, Wi-Fi, everything is working fine. As you can see, I am connected to my dual band Wi-Fi and both Wi-Fi wi are available. So as you can see, you can connect uh, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi both are. So it, it does support both and you don't need to worry about it. So there is a lack of, uh, there is a problem which I would like to talk about here is you go to Bluetooth, you go to sorry, YouTube and you search for any 4K, 4K videos. Now go for 4K videos, click here. 
now as you can see this one is a 4k video now you click on it so this one right now is playing on uh, around uh, no just a minute just uh, okay, fine so now this this one is actually playing on shit. okay this one is playing on around uh, 480 pixel that is so as you can see you can actually get it to 1440 to 160 pixel that means 4k but you won't be able to play it now get it into 100 you can see now i'm able to play it around that point but you just place it 100 now when you click on 1440 the bad thing about it it is you click on it and that is where the magic happens the mi ui doesn't support or doesn't let the processor do its work and doesn't the let the processor use, use its efficient power so the snapdragon 20 can actually use the processor's power and actually display or uh, play 4k videos on your z2 plus but the mi ui actually makes uh, actually limits this processor processing power and try to shut down your phone so as you can see the phone is shut down as you can see the led is working that means your phone is like uh, on a boot loop boot loop point right so it is right now on a boot loop and what you need to do is you need to click on this button uh, just a minute let me focus so you need, to, you need to click on this button and what happens is you need to press it around for some time just a minute and after, after some time you will be able to boot up and as you can see your phone is just going to boot up so as you can see your phone is boot my phone is booting up the main thing about this miui which i don't like is it doesn't let it doesn't let the processor use its full power what happens is when you're trying to use its full power the mi the ui software optimization is just going to stop it and when you're trying to use it at its full potential means at 100 percent where you will get some heating issues but probably you will you will be able to play PUBG high settings and uh, will be you will be able to play 4K videos. But the MIUI optimization feature just uh, try to optimize it and doesn't let the uh, phone play or record any 4K videos. And it, uh, in a, and even you won't be able to play PUBG at high settings. So actually, I was trying to record a PUBG gameplay video. As you can see, I actually have a PUBG uh, PUBG mobile on my smartphone. Now when you're trying to when you're trying to do this, as you can see download field because you are you now purchased this app. I don't know why it is happening. Connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, it should start PUBG mobile, but I'm getting this error. I actually try to download it for around uh, some time. I try to download PUBG around three to four times and I was getting any bug in Play Store. So I so I actually played PUBG around two three times and uh, and I tried to update it. As, as you can see the new update point uh 0.12 uh, was actually out and I was trying to update it and uh, as I was trying to update the I was not able to get any uh, installation process right like the update was 453 MB and what I was getting was around 1.7 GB of total download after that the uh, update was not able to install I was getting some errors and uh, so to go through that I actually uninstalled the PUBG now I'm not able to even install PUBG so I, as I said before, uh, talking about gaming on this phone, you won't be able to play at high settings because the high settings option is not even available in the game uh, PUBG gameplay. In the PUBG game, you won't be able to see the high HD settings and the high frame rate because the, as as I said before, a my UI optimization feature is just going just going to not uh, it won't let uh, it won't let you use the full processing power of your Snapdragon 820 and we'll try to underclock it and we'll try to minimize the processing power to maximize the battery life and try to not to hit your smartphone so now talking about something else like a fingerprint scanner so, so fingerprint scanner right now works well and i have been using it for some time and i have no complaints now you talk about this a click a single click and as you can see you just need to touch your smartphone and it goes just touch your smartphone and here it goes so fingerprint scanner is working well there's no issue with that and i'm quite happy with this one so now talking about the camera performance uh, you you won't be able to use uh, gcam uh, or as you can say google camera on your smartphone or uh, as you can say on your miui because i don't know i'm getting any errors of parsing error i will show you getting to this point storage so i was trying to use it and uh, i was actually getting this error i don't know why 
let me get it download oh, sorry um so let me get it. here it is and uh, let me tell you where it is so i was actually getting an error which i don't like really think uh, would be happening with any other custom roms which i was actually facing with this one as you can see as you can see you can see gcam and you click on it and now so this is the process this is what you get there was a problem while passing the packet now i don't know why it is happening i have actually opened the unknown resources and it is the option is on i have actually switched on the unknown resource unknown sources option and i should be able to use the gcam but i'm not able to use the google camera application so i have been using this uh, miui camera now it is working well as you can see click on video the video works well click on photo photo works well now we're talking about the features so can you get this hdr option right here you can use it talking about some other features like here panorama timer audio and manual is available as you can see the wire balance and iso you can change them using this option now you need to click on this to turn off manual click on option go to settings click here so as you can see you can enable camera sound there is the quality doesn't show you in ratios it shows in high standard and low uh, there is anti banding anti uh, banding option and some other shutter options volume button function to use it use it as a shutter as you can see you can use your volume button to as a shutter option so now uh, talking about the uh, 4k video recording it doesn't allow you it does allow you uh, time lapse but no slow mos or as you can see image capture while recording you can, uh, you can enable that but there is no 4k video option and the focus is continuous option or continuous or tap so this is what happens uh, when you are trying to optimize your smart your smartphone more than what you need to and that's the, that's the reason uh, what the custom roms are for if you are not able to use the full power and full potential of your smartphone processor it doesn't make sense and that's the reason custom roms were built to give you extra functionality and extra customization options to use your smartphone's processor and hardware to full potential and the MIUI doesn't let you do that so it's a letdown on, on that point now talking about android benchmark the MIUI is not able to use your hardware's 100% potential the android, android benchmark was still pretty high now talk about it let me just focus it up and as you can see 1,55,000 so that is quite a good score uh, talk about because of the, the optimization or features which is uh, which MIUI is using is to make sure that your phone doesn't heat up much more and the battery drain doesn't go uh, like high so to save some battery life and to not uh, let your phone heat or blast off uh, what happens is the MIUI just try to, tries to optimize your smartphone and try to use the processor's power up to 90% and not 100% and not at 100% to make sure that your phone doesn't heat up or your phone doesn't actually uh, decrease its lifetime so that's it uh, for the end of the benchmark part one like one like 55,000 is its score so you see being one of the best optimized uh, actually hardware's uh, and one of the best optimized custom rooms MIUI is still uh, one of the decent per decent performer around around in the market for and talk about it the performance or uh, day-to-day performance on MIUI was great you can, you can open around three to five applications normally and your normal task will be done you can, op you can open some social media applications some high-end games and every application will run fine the multitasking is fine itself and it's uh, nothing bad to talk about so now talk about battery life so battery life on this smartphone was great now how great uh, what's the screen on time screen on time was around five to six hours i could say six hours and uh, actually a full uh, normal usage or medium usage is fine if you even if you go to high usage where you will be playing pubg or any other high-end games the battery life uh, will still will be around four and a half to five hours or more so considering the battery life part it is great and even stable as well so there are no bugs the only bug i prefer it is not a bug but i prefer to say is the optimization feature uh, which i really don't like which doesn't let you play the 4k videos and doesn't let, let you play the pubg at high settings and that, that gets us to the gameplay performance gameplay performance was great 
asphaltate and asphaltate and other games were uh, were fine and the performance was more than enough to have a good gaming experience with the pubg i was not able to play pubg on high settings and it was a frustrating moment because i actually play a pubg at high settings most of the time so now talk about some other things like bugs there are no bugs it is one of the best stable and custom stable and most customizable roms out in the market for your zigzag to plus and nothing to worry about so some final words of how does the rom perform is it something you should use every single day i would prefer to say yes MIUI talk about MIUI the design is great the stability is fine you you would get more than decent performance the battery life is more than great and more than enough for you the gaming performance is fine if you're not a high end gamer the gaming performance on and playing pubg will be fine there are no bugs some optimization options uh, i don't know if you can actually disable them but until now i was not able to find any options to do that but other than that the gaming performance day to day performance stability and calling and connectivity everything was fine the features and customization options are also fine not to talk, not to talk about the features which are available let's uh, get through them so just let me focus it once uh, okay just let me focus okay wait so, so now as you can see there are not much options to talk about in uh, customizations as you can see you get to miui lab as you can see the find uh, uh find photos in gallery ai preloading so ai preloading increases the app launch speed so this is some uh, ai options which are available in your miui custom room that is if you're going to use a, a similar application every single day the ai is going to learn it and uh, is going to pre uh, increase the preload speed and it will be easier for you to use it uh, and switch around applications which you normally use in your day to day life as you can see there are some system apps install apps dual app op dual apps options uh, which you could use uh, every single application uh, will actually support these options there will be some applications which might not support dual apps but normally all of them support it so not now talk about uh, as you can see while the display is also available a plain mode bluetooth tethering these are the settings uh, available talking about vpn is also available in your smartphone um not talking about battery and performance as i said uh, as you can see you can also change the power usage now talk about how much control you have over your usage optimization as you can see you can actually optimize it and increase or decrease your battery life uh, according to your usage as you can see if i add this six i i said uh, these three items applications uh, in my battery optimization uh, thing I will be able to get around 6 minutes of more battery life uh, this is not more but kind of fun to see if you could actually are around 5 to 6 percent battery life uh, is remaining and if you want to add, get some extra juice out of your battery you can use this battery life battery usage feature talking about power uh, talking about sorry stop it yes uh, talking about the battery power usage you can actually check the which of the applications are using using the more of your battery potential and which of the hardware are using how much percentage of your battery so this is kind of, kind of good uh, statistics for you to optimize your usage pattern according to your battery life uh, according to the battery life you want so this, these are the features and as i said before being one of the most stable roms this uh from does give you good and decent performance and you can actually use it as a stable custom rom uh, in your day to day life but if you are a heavy gamer you might not consider it because of the uh, pubg gameplay experience which i didn't like that much other than that i can i could say uh, it is one it is one of the best roms uh, which i have used in around this week and uh, that's it for this review so please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon and please do comment down below which type of videos do you want to watch next and thank you for watching